Hello and welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. This is Essie Daniel and I'm so delighted to be here with you. I am opening my podcast channel so that I can record on my podcast as well. So here we go. Let's do this again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another series of Leaders Connect podcast. This is Essie Daniel, and it's always a pleasure to be here with you. Where are you joining me from? I'd love to connect with you. And so if you are able, put it in the comment section where you're from and what you are learning. So the past few weeks, we've been covering uh, qualities of a great leader. And the previous podcast or in the previous YouTube video, we talked about that uh, the, uh, the great, a great leader, excuse me, a great leader is a learner, is a life learner. They are growth oriented. They do not stop growing. They keep on growing. They get better. But what is reading? without application. We said that a great leader is a reader. They read books, right? You see, I had to put emphasis on that word because I come from a culture where R and L sometimes sound the same. So a great leader is a great reader. But what is reading if we are not applying what we are learning. And that is why I want us to talk about this quality of a great leader, which is a great leader applies what they are learning. There's a quote <laughs> that I gave a friend of mine, an American friend of mine, and they thought it was so funny. And later on, after I thought about it, I said, for sure, that was actually funny. And we were talking about how if we were to get a goat or a cat or any animal and we just feed it, feed it and feed it and feed it, there's no outlet. You see, <laughs> what will happen to that animal? it will get bigger and bigger until it cannot contain what it's taken anymore or it cannot um or its life will be cut short because of what it's taken or it's been taking for years without an outlet in fact the life will just be cut short it's the same exact scenario for a leader, a leader, a great leader is a river and not a reservoir. If you may contain water in a basin for some time and there's no water coming in, there's no water going out, that water becomes like a dam water. Dam water will hold algae, it will hold all this uh, nasty stuff. They will grow in that water. Why? Because the water is not clean. It does not have an inlet or an outlet. And the funny thing is, or the sad thing is, this water cannot hold or maintain a life for any creature. For example, you cannot rear fish in that kind of water. And that being said, I want us to talk about application. What is application? Application means that you're utilizing the knowledge that you're gathering every single day. You are applying it, but you're also not holding it in, but you're using it to pass it on to someone else, to better someone else. Otherwise, we become like the cat that we talked about a few minutes ago. The cat gets bigger and bigger and it becomes dysfunctional. It cannot even catch 
a, a rat or a mice. Why? Because it's too big and it is not fit. So every great leader needs to consider these things. One, think, always think, how am I going to apply what I'm learning? And the other thing is, who or where am I going to teach what I am learning? Okay? And then the other thing, and that is also passing it on. Who do I need to pass this on to? Because we learn more when we apply what we are learning. And do not worry. Once again, is it going to work? You will never know if it will work unless you apply it. So instead of saying, what if I fail? But darling, what if you fly? Love that quote. Yeah? So challenge yourself. A great leader will pass on what it is that they're learning. A great leader is a river and not a reservoir. They do not withhold any information. They share what they have and what they know. They go out of their way to help other people, other leaders, those that are in their circle of influence, those that are under, underneath. They go extra miles to help them succeed. So dear leader, what platform or what outlet do you have of your resources, of your teaching? Remember, if you do not find a way of passing on what you're getting, you will get bigger and bigger and you will reach a point where you start losing what you have because you're not using it. So what platform can you create or you do you what platform do you already have in existence that you can utilize to reach other leaders, to reach your peers, to reach your mentees, or even a platform where you can refer to your own teachings. What are you utilizing? So I'll share with you mine, which is obvious. I am a podcaster. I podcast at least one once a week. And I am a vid I'm a YouTuber. I record at least one YouTube video every week. I hope to be able one day to get as good as my mentor, John Maxwell, who does what we call a minute with Maxwell. And what that is, is a teaching moment that lasts for a day. And he does this on every single day of the week without fail. He set the bar high and I have to get there. I have to work on myself, work on my public speaking skills so that I can get as good as my mentor is. So let's come back to you. How are you or what outlet do you have for the content that you have? Remember, you are a river, not a reservoir. Don't hold or hold information or what the experiences that you have. Actually, one time I attended a church service and someone gave a testimony. And they say that when God carries you through a difficult situation, don't hold on to it. It is for your audience and for the listeners and for anyone that can read or listen to you, you can even put it in a book for anyone to read. 
to benefit from your experience. It's not your experience anymore. It is an experience that needs to be shared with the world and those that are going through that situation at that time. The good book that I love, the Bible, I'm a person of faith. It says, give and it shall be given back to you. It shall come back to you in great measures. And by the Bible continues to talk about how it will come back to you. Shaken. Yeah. And running over. And I think I skipped one. So as a leader, release the information that you have in your hands. If anything, the more you share what you have, the more you have. So a great leader is a river and not a reservoir. A great leader applies what they are learning. A great leader passes on what they are learning. And when you apply what you're learning, put it out there in a podcast or in a YouTube channel, or if you're a writer, write it down. If you're a pastor and you have an audience, a live audience, share it with your congregation. If you have a Facebook community, share what you're learning every week and be consistent. You'll be surprised by sharing what benefits could come out of that experience. You could end up with a book. You could end up with, uh, with a prayer devotion. You could end up with Bible study guides or study guides or online courses or books or a famous YouTube channel that everyone wants to listen because when they visit, they get inspired. So dear leader, after you've read, we've talked about in the previous uh, recording, we talked about reading. A great leader is one that is learning, one that is growing, is one that is growth oriented. After you've read and you're reading for 30 to 60 minutes every single day, you've gotten good. You've got some rich content. Pass it on, find an outlet. And you can use a podcast. And I'll share with you briefly how you can, you, you can, you can start a podcast channel without paying a dime. If you have a smartphone, all you need to do is go to your app store or where you get, where you download applications from or you buy them from and just download search Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R, Anchor. And search it and when it comes up, download it on your phone, download it on your tablet. And once you create the account, first of all, it's a free account, you can start recording ASAP. If I could do it, anybody could do it. Nobody taught me how to. I found out on my own in 2018 and I've never looked back. That habit of creating content and creating an outlet is what has blessed us with the, the businesses that we have and it has also been a blessing to my family where every member of our family is actually a podcaster starting from the youngest who's six years old she started podcasting she did her first podcast when she was three and then the young men who have over who have close to 200 if not at 200 podcasts they podcast twice a week and this is a habit that they just started in 2022 20, years ago. My husband is a podcaster as well. He podcasts on matters pertaining faith. He loves to defend the faith. He's an apologist. Matters pertaining faith. 
the AC's podcast. I talk about matters pertaining personal growth and leadership development. That's my area. What do you need or what is stopping you from creating an outlet, a podcast channel where you can podcast any day? Or what is stopping you from starting a YouTube channel? We've had our YouTube channel also since 2018. At some point, we were very consistent, but then it reached a point and we started lagging behind. And then eventually, I cannot even tell you how we fell off the wagon. I am so glad to say that we are back. And I think now we are at close to 100 videos. Just imagine that. And all we do is each one of us records a YouTube video and two podcast channels, uh, or rather two podcasts audio, two podcast audios, and one video. We record that on YouTube and on Anchor. And we've done that consistently as a family where we are holding each other accountable. And now we look back and we wonder, wow, how did we get here? And we are looking back and thinking, this is great. I can go back and listen to what I was learning three months ago. And sometimes we'll listen to ourselves and we'll be, wow, that was good content. Or sometimes we'll listen to ourselves and say, whoa, we've come a long way. Look at the growth that has happened since that time and where we are now. So it's not only a great outlet, but it's also going to help you to measure your growth as a leader. So dear leader, apply what you're learning. Be a river and not a reservoir. Release what is in your hands so that you can get more. When you open your hands and you release what's in your hands, at that moment, you're ready to receive because we don't receive with closed hands or palms. We've got to let go. We've got to open our hands and let go what we are learning so that we can get or create room for new stuff, new content, richer, better, bigger. So let's apply what we're learning in our lives so that our lives can bear fruit, but also let's create an outlet for others and most importantly for ourselves to be able to come back and see listen to ourselves and measure our growth. One of the things that I can tell you for sure, a voice, the number one voice that every person believes in is their own voice. And that's why you see when a person tells themselves constantly in their mind, I cannot do this, I cannot do this, eventually it becomes a reality. And they end up not being, do, being able to do it or even doing it. Why? Because when you say, I can't, you believe your voice more than a voice from an outsider. So go back and listen to the messages that you recorded. Go back and listen to what you are covering at that time. Allow it to refresh you one more time. And because that is your voice that is saying those words, that is teaching that lesson, you will believe it more than when it comes from an outside source. Because it is something you've internalized. It is something that you've sat down and thought about and recorded. All right, Essie Daniel here. Thank you so very much for creating the time to be here with me. I am so delighted that you've allowed me to speak into your life in the area of personal growth 
and leadership development. As we conclude, I just want to remind us that the greatest gap in life is between knowing and doing. So don't just stay on the no side, be a doer. The Bible says that we be doers of the word. Be a doer of what you're learning, of what you believe in. Go out and practice it. How will you know it works if you don't practice it? Apply it. Okay? Essie Daniel here. It's such a pleasure. I wish you the very best. Let's keep growing. It's the only guarantee that tomorrow will be better. Bye-bye.